Good morning, traders. Pubble Wall Street back with my morning quick hits. Today, we're going to look at four charts. Let's dig in. First one is going to be Expedia. And as a reminder, we're working on the 65 minute chart on TrendSpider, and we're using the go no go indicator. Dark purple is very bearish, light purple is just bearish, orange is neutral, uh, teal or light green is bullish, and your blue candles, that's very bullish. So going back to Expedia, ticker EXPE, you can see we're in a massive wedge here. Uh, it's been going on for a couple of months and we're getting compressed inside the wedge. And so when we get to the apex of the wedge, you, you either have to break out or you have to break down. Now, the one thing I'm not seeing is any squeezes. You can sort of, we had a squeeze back here it did push push us up back to the top of the wedge, but that squeeze dissipated, and now um, you know we're we're not squeezing. So what I would look for is potential squeeze setting up in the next day or two as we come into the apex of that wedge. And I think if we can get over that six one eight retracement at one ninety two, I think we got a shot at two hundred and then two oh three, and then over two oh three back to the previous highs at two eighteen. So that is EXPE. Next up is. JKS, this is Jinko Solar. This one has an ascending triangle. So you have uh, basically a flat top here with a uh, series of higher lows. We only have two higher lows um, right now. And also uh, this white line, this is gonna be my 21 uh, EMA, my 21 moving average. And uh, so this one's holding over 50 RSI here as we are, you know, you, look, we had this little uh, downtrend, right, with the bearish, and then we had the neutral candles, and now look, we're pushing higher again. So um, I'm watching for a break over 57.11. If we can get that break over 57.11, I'm going to be targeting 63 uh, to the upside, and then over 63, 70.88 to the upside. Plenty of room on RSI here. Uh, we've been going in and out of a squeeze for a couple of days now. Um, so no no real fires on that. You can see we had a squeeze uh, back here and that fired us up right back to the top of this ascending triangle. So keep a close eye on Jinko Solar. I do think it is close to making a move. Uh, next up is Wolf, uh, ticker W-O-L-F. This one, another wedge setup, right? So you have a high, you have lower high, lower high. You have a low, uh, a low, a higher low. We're coming into, well, not quite not quite too close to the apex. This could still come back and test the bottom before breaking out, or it could test the bottom and break down. I mean, these are, these are what wedges do. Um, so what we want to do is look at some other indicators. So right now we're holding right around 50 RSI, so I think that's pretty good. Um, but the other thing I'm noticing is we're, we're going into a really nice squeeze here. So right now, squeeze momentum is going down. What I'm looking for, and this should really have a question mark, will we start to, let's say maybe another couple of candles, we go down and then we start to level out and then come back up. What I'd be watching for as it comes back up is do we start to fire? And that fire should push us over around 115, 116. You can see right here, we have a little bit of a FIB cluster. So this is a, a 618 uh, from this swing here and a 236 from this swing here. Uh, when FIBs cluster, they tend to act as a good support, good resistance, and that's pretty much what we're seeing right here. So I think as if we hold into this shelf for another day or two, we, we possibly will fire on that squeeze upwards and I would be targeting 125 to the upside. All right, last but not least, let's talk a little bit about Tesla. Uh, I did mention yesterday, um, not on this video, but in my group, you know, Tesla looks really good. Uh, just so you know, I'm, I'm on after hours here. Um, so this is what the, the gray bars are. If we're inside the gray bars, these are this is after hours um, movement. And so you could see we, they reported uh, good earnings last night. We had a nice move uh, back through 1014. And now we're stopping right near 1079. Um, 1100 should come today. Uh, 1071 to 1079 is a little bit of a level that I'm watching to see if we could break through today. If we do, we should shoot pretty quickly up to 1100. And then through 1100, I'd be watching 11. Uh, 11, 11, let's see, 1,112, uh, 11, 12, as what I think what I was trying to say. And then uh, 11, 52 to the upside. I think that 
very well could come this week. And then over 1152, I think 1200 may come. Uh, so this is a chart that I, you know, I know really well. I know the personality of Tesla. Um, the, the thesis for me was definitely to the upside. I, I know there were some bears out there, but um, when I go out to a daily and a weekly chart, it's a pretty clear Elliott wave push to the upside. I think we're still in wave five. So looking pretty good. So I don't want to drag this video out. I want to keep you uh, from your time. We're a little over five minutes. So those are my four quick hits for today. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I'll be back tomorrow with more quick hits. Take care.